Hi, this is Hubwood and today we will talk about how you can extend your battery life of your laptop when gaming on the go. If this video turns out to be helpful or likeable, any thumbs up and subs would be highly appreciated. Thank you. So we will even measure the savings in energy with a watt meter today to see how much we can get out by reducing the power consumption. By the way, you can use all those tips on your desktop PC as well. And save some real money on your next electricity bill. I will use a demanding scene from The Witcher 3 to show you what you can do. For this example I used an Acer Aspire VX15 with a GTX 1050 and an i5-7300HQ 4-core CPU and without any energy saving the laptop I used for this test takes between yeah, 108 and 112 watt to render the scene. Now here's what you can do. Undervolt your CPU. Undervolting your laptop will save energy and reduce temperatures without any performance loss and without any risk of damaging your hardware. I have a video on how to do that and it's really not that complicated. I highly recommend watching it as I actually do it with all my laptops all the time. Hell, I even use it for my desktop PC. It's just a really good way to reduce energy consumption. It basically denies your CPU a bit of voltage overshoot, which it doesn't need, and it will therefore use less power without getting slower at all. In my example, I will undervolt by 120 millivolt. Undervolt your GPU. Undervolting your GPU helps a lot as well, which will only affect the battery life if you game or use some sort of 3D based software of course. Kevin Schroff has a good video on how to undervolt your GPU with MSI Afterburner. I will link to his video in the description. Set a FPS limit. Yeah, I know, but this especially helps for games in which you don't desperately need every FPS you can get like strategy games, single player RPGs, adventures and everything that's basically not a fast first person shooter. By doing so your GPU and CPU won't have to work at full load and will therefore drastically reduce power consumption. You can often do that in the in-game menu or use a software like Reverse Statistics Tuner which comes with MSI Afterburner, which I highly recommend installing by the way as you can use it to show your actual in-game FPS and also display things like the usage of your RAM, CPU and GPU. In my example I will set the FPS limit to 30. Reduce screen brightness. A pretty obvious thing to do as you probably already know. Usually your laptop does this on its own the second you unplug it from the power source. But you can further darken the screen to squeeze out some extra gaming minutes. In my example I will reduce the brightness to around 60%. Go into flight mode. Of course that's only doable if you play single player games, but doing so will save some extra power for not using your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth while gaming. Now after applying all those tips I reduced my wattage to around 72 watt. Mind that I had to plug in the laptop to measure those differences so that's not 100% scientific but unfortunately I have no way to measure the wattage without doing so. So in the example of The Witcher 3 I was able to save around 15% and gain uh, around 7 extra minutes. I know this does not sound like a lot but The Witcher 3 is a very demanding game for my laptop even when cut down to 30 fps. The effect is much bigger if the game isn't as demanding in performance, so I repeated the test with a more modest title like Divinity Original Sin and the difference was much bigger. When cut down to 30 fps the laptop would only use around 50 watt, so actually lowering your graphic settings in combination with the fps limit would help even more. As you can just say that nice graphics use more power. By the way, a very nice effect of all these actions is that your laptop won't get as hot, which can be very helpful in a hot summer, of course. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Liking and subscribing would be fab and see you next time.